Hey Tim, we're here at 3716 Estelle. Uh, uh, these units are actually in pretty good shape. Uh, when you walk into the, uh, there's, there's two units on the left side of the building if you're facing the front, um, and then one, on, one unit on the right side. We're in 3716 unit right now. Uh, you've got a living room area here. Windows are in good shape. They have blinds on them also, which is good. Uh, the tile is in good shape. Uh, kitchen cabinets uh, in pretty good shape. See a little wear and tear towards the bottom, uh, but no need for replacement. Uh, four mica countertops in good shape. They even got a little tile black splash be behind the sink. Uh, the oven, well, who knows? Who knows if that works, but that's not a big deal. Uh, missing a couple of of basic handles off the uh, off the cabinetry there, but very easy fix. You can see how everything's in uh, pretty decent shape there. And you've got your fridge there. We've got two bedrooms on the right hand side. Same tile throughout, which is nice. Um, as normal, customary, you'll need some paint. Some of the windows look pretty new, newer. So they were probably replaced at one point. I don't really see any uh, uh, major signs of, uh, of roof leaks, uh, except for we'll see in the bathroom, they, it looks like they might have had a plumbing leak. Door needs a door handle there. Uh, you'll see when we get into the bathroom there, there was a leak. Here's the other, the other uh, uh, bedroom here. Windows, you can see they're newer style windows. Yeah, aside from paint, um, it's really uh, a couple of cabinet handles in the kitchen. I mean, it's really all you need. Um, just a side note, all three units are missing the ACs, um, at least on the exterior. On the interior, um, I haven't seen the, uh, the air handler units. I'm guessing they're in the attic. Um, I'm guessing they're in the attic because I haven't seen them anywhere else. So tough to say if they're still there. This is your laundry room here. There's your attic entry. And then this is the bathroom I was telling you about um, that had the, uh, looked like it had a leak up top. Shower, toilet in good shape. Sink fixture. Uh, it's missing a plate down there. Probably be fixed. Uh, you may just want to replace it. Uh, then you've got your light fixture, which is hanging down. And then up above here, you'll see where the big area of drywall right above the, sh the bathroom that's missing. I'm um, going to guess that has to do with probably a broken pipe. Um, I don't know for 100% sure, but right up there, there's two copper pipes that are leading to nowhere. So it may just be some PVC that needs to be run. Um, I don't know, but it doesn't look like there's any roof damage and there's, and we've been getting rain every day and there's no water on the floor. Uh, there's no visible signs of moisture. So I'm going to guess that's just, uh, you know, some kind of quick plumbing issue that can be taken care of running some PVC. Uh, next uh, unit over is the, uh, uh, 3714 unit uh, same condition pretty good condition here you walk in you've got a nice open living area with your kitchen cabinets are in good shape on this one countertops are in good shape Sh sink is in good shape uh, somebody obviously was rehabbing this at one point because uh, it's in pretty decent shape that oven looks like it's uh, probably good to go fridge as well same tile throughout, which is nice. This one's actually uh, doesn't even need really paint at all. The paint colors are fine. They, they didn't do a very good job as far as uh, the number of coats that are needed. So you don't see the old paint, but I really wouldn't worry about it. Got a closet there. Uh, here's your other bedroom. 
Same floor plan as the other unit. Little hole in a wall right there, no big deal. Near windows, we are missing one window back there, so that would have to be fixed. And then coming back over, you've got your laundry room. Water tank looks pretty good. Um, there's no signs of moisture on the floor here, but you can see where there uh, is a water spot up there. Don't know if that's existing or not, like I said, but there's no water on the floor and uh, we have been getting rain. Here's the bathroom here. This one's in much better shape, obviously. Uh, this one, uh, this is a good property here so far. Let's go check out the third unit. Alright, so this is the uh, 3718 unit. Same deal with this one. You walk in, we've got the tile. Got the, the windows that are in good shape. Uh, the paint in this one is actually pretty decent. You know, a couple little areas that are scratched up, but uh, pretty decent. Just missing a little, a little front plate for that, for that kitchen cabinet door there. Uh, towards the end here, you're missing the actual Actually, uh, take that back. The cabinet's right in there, just needs to be fixed. Oven looks like uh, it's probably gonna work for you. Cabinet's in good shape. And you've got your same uh, two bedroom setup. Towards the back, you've got another bedroom. Windows in good shape. Plus they have the blinds on them, which is really nice too. Got your laundry room in here. Hot water tank looks a little rusted towards the bottom, but there's no leakage. So you probably don't need to replace that uh, uh, right away. And then we've got the bathroom back here. Again, in good shape. Bathroom window needs to be fixed. But otherwise, uh, this unit's pretty good. Uh, I would definitely suggest taking a serious look at this one. Uh, let's walk around to the uh, to the exterior. and give you a view of that. Uh, this is the right side of the unit. Uh, the exterior definitely needs paint. Um, can you get away with not doing it? More than likely, yeah. Um, as you can see where the paint's just really uh, rusted away. See where the AC units are all missing. Uh, structurally, the exterior looks pretty good. And here's the front. Got duplex next to it, very similar, probably the same exact builder. And across the street also. And then that's the duplex next to you. And there you go, that's uh, the Estelle property.